This is Doug from Doug and Nikki, and I am here in this weird position because I am going to share with you an unboxing, setup, and review of a product which is like designed for my wife, the beautiful Miss Nikki, who is completely addicted to the black and yellow storage bins. So this is the CX four level storage bin storage shelves. So it matches, ta-da, in black and yellow. Her giant supply of crazy storage bins. Whoo, this thing's is bound together pretty good. I'm gonna have to get a knife to open this up and then we'll set it up. But if this kind of video is what you're looking for to see the product, see me set it up and then give you my review after, please give this video one of these down below because it's really important for our channel. It really helps us out and we're helping you out with this. So uh, let me get the knife and we'll put it together. Okay, so Nikki and I have moved to beautiful and currently hot Southern Florida, and it is time for me, after moving like a hundred of these black and yellow storage bins uh, here to Florida, it's time for me to store the remnants that didn't get unpacked that need to be stored here in the garage. So I need to set this all up, and I thought this would be a perfect way to do it. So let's take it apart, see what we have here. Okay, these are some kind of funky looking plastic Lego-y kind of parts. Pretty yellow pin caps to match. These are the vertical struts. Some shelves. I wonder if the shelves are all the same or if there's like a top and a bottom. Guess we will find out. Instructions, okay? Here are the instructions for this four level kit. Pretty straightforward. It's kind of neat. If you have more than one, they come with fasteners so you can link them together for more safety. I only need one. At least I hope I only need one. Okay, I I'm not sure anything could be more simple than what this looks which probably, I just probably jinxed myself saying that. Well, let's give it a shot, see how it goes. This reminds me of like, who put together little uh, plastic models when they were a kid, right? You had these, you'd have all these little plastic things with 12,000 parts and they could all be numbered. So, okay, so you can see this slides in here. This guy twists on there like so. Look at that. Okay, that couldn't be any simpler. And then I guess you could adjust it for the level of the floor. Okay, I have a newsflash, so you gotta wait a little bit to see it. But let's talk about the basic setup. Please ignore the messy garage. I have to say it's attractive, easy to put together, nice, solid. I, I would give it a 100 out of 100 for that stuff. But let's take a look and see at the functionality of this. Okay, as I said, we have 100 of these. They are... What I thought was the standard size, like a reasonably large one, it's 27 gallon, 107 liter. Bought it at, I don't remember whether it's, could be Lowe's, could be Home Depot, but we bought a lot of them. Let's try putting it on. Uh, that's a big fat no. There is no way that this bin is gonna fit on these shelves. Okay, this is completely why somebody should have made a video before me and I should have watched it. I didn't think when it said made for these black and yellow bins that I had to make sure I had small black and yellow bins or a certain size. I just assumed it was like big enough to fit them all other than giant ones. This is just a basic large. This is not like we have some big, big ones that you could put like a person in, but this, this is just like a normal size. And this is not going to fit on these shelves. 
I'm gonna be in trouble with my wife over this one. But I guess that's why we do these videos. If you have the small boxes, this would be a very nice shelving system. If you have the 27 gallon size box, it's not gonna work. It works on the top shelf. Uh, there's no way this is gonna work. So I guess we're gonna have to store something else here. I'm not sure what, but it won't be black bins with yellow tops.